Hello, uh, my name is Sergey, and in this video I will write our first program for MakeBlocks.RobotKit. I bought this kit uh, about a week ago. It's a starter robot kit with IR, which stands for Infrared Remote Control. Uh, the instructions that you can see here, building instructions, are very, very good. Uh, it took me and my 12-year-old maybe a couple of hours to put it together, but it wasn't really hard that he did most of the work. In order to write your first program, you're going to need to download and install mBlock software, which you can do from mBlock.cc. I use Windows software, but there is also a version for the Mac. The instructions for programming this robot are not very good, and hence the idea for this video. So first of all, we have to connect our robot to our computer. I took a picture of the back of the robot tank, and you can see the on-off switch here, and the USB plug right here. And this is the cable that connects the, the board, which contains Arduino um, system, to the battery pack, which sits on top of this robot. So let's let me connect my robot to the with a USB cable to my computer and let's get started. As soon as you connect it you will see these lights light up. That's how you know that it's connected. Keep the switch off in the off position for now. Presumably you downloaded the mBlock software and I have a shortcut here in my taskbar. Let me go ahead and open it and I'm going to mix, maximize the window. And a couple of things we have to do. The starter kit is using Starter Ultimate Orion board, which is a, a variant of many boards that make blocks produce. In order to connect the robot to your computer, you have to go to connect serial port and click on COM3 which will connect your robot to your computer and the light will blink once. As you can see there are sections of code in this mBlock software. Some of them are pertinent to robot program and some are not. Right now they're all enabled. In order to make it a little bit harder to make a mistake Let's go to Edit menu and turn on Arduino mode, which is Arduino is the board that drives this robot. As soon as this happens, a couple of things happen. Well, some things got disabled, and those are pertaining to a raw M block software, which is a version of Scratch. And a few things got still enabled. There's data and blocks, which we can make variables. There is control blocks, which are things that create loops. And we'll go over it uh, a little bit more, but you can see you can wait for a while, you can repeat certain set of tasks, you can do conditions, for example, if something is true or not. Then you have operators, which uh, allows you to do some basic, basic arithmetic operations, such as add, subtract, multiply, and divide and do checks such as is one value greater than another. And finally, we're into the robot section. As you can see, I have a couple of sections here. One is Arduino, and I'm going to right click and hide it for now. Actually, it's left click and hide or show. And we're going to stick to Orion board. In order to start the program, we need to simply drag Orion program and drop it onto this middle section, which contains your program. What you see on the right is the actual generated code that is going to be sent to Arduino. And if it looks like C++, it looks very, very similar anyway to C++. Now, what do we do on our first program? I feel like 
getting your motor up and going is easy task and allows us to test that everything works as intended. In other words, uh, mBlock software got downloaded and properly installed. Our tank got properly assembled and it's connected to our computer and we're ready to run the program. So let's just do that. So for the robot section, and you can click on it, pick set motor speed block. And to connect it, as you can see, it changes a little bit where you allow, what allows you to align notches together. And this is how we would connect it. And we're gonna set two, mo there are two motors on the tank. So let's drag the same block here again. What we wanna do is set, pick a motor two and it's designate, designated by M2. And now we need to pick a speed. I'm just gonna pick an average speed. It seemed to go from zero to 255 being maximum. I'm gonna pick like a hundred. And I'm going to pick 100 for both of these. Now here's the question. As soon as I turn it on, what would happen? As soon as I flip the on switch, this program will run. And so I don't even have time to get my fingers away from the robot, which doesn't sound very good. So let's flip to control and pick a block called weight. And I'm going to insert it between the Orion program, which is our starting block, and the motor set. And I'm gonna give myself about five seconds to give my fingers away from the robot before it starts moving. Now, the way these motor blocks work, as soon as you set it to 100, unless you change the value, the motors will continue to run until the robot crashes into something anyway. So what we wanna do is maybe let it run for say three seconds and then stop. So let's drag another weight block over. I can click in the middle of it and you can see number one is highlighted and I simply type three. So how do I stop the motors? To stop the motors, I simply need to set the speed to zero. So I'm going to click on robots again and drag motor speed in here twice because I want to stop both M1 and M2 and I'm gonna set the speed to zero. Now if I want to edit this later, I can save the project and I'm gonna give it a name and save it somewhere. It doesn't matter where you save it, I have a folder. And I'm going to call this simply test. Now that I saved it, I need to replace the default program that is on Arduino board with this program. To do that, I have to click on Upload to Arduino button. If you don't see the button, which means you didn't switch to Arduino mode here. So if so, you can your view would look like this and you can go to click, go to edit, click on Arduino mode. And here's our panel. Arduino panel is visible. And I'm going to click on Upload to Arduino. At this, pro, at this point, the software will actually build our little program and then upload it to our Arduino robot. This process for a small program doesn't take very long. And you know it's going to see these flashing characters on the right. So we just need to be patient then you will see the lights flash for a second and then the the window here informational window will say upload finish i click close at this point what's important for you to do is to unplug the robot from our computer by simply pulling this USB cable out, which is what I'm going to do right now. Now, I'm gonna put robot on the floor and you cannot see what I'm doing, but you take my word for it and click the switch. Because we set to first wait for five seconds, you won't see anything for five seconds and then you will hear the little noise 
and that means our motors are turning. They will turn for three seconds and will stop. Great, great work, people. Now, if you follow along, you should have applied. It should have arrived at the same result. Your robot will work. If you want to run it again, uh, there is no way right now for you to run it without turning the robot on and back. I mean, off and back on, which is what I'm going to do. And just to test it one more time, flip the switch, put the robot on the floor. It'll wait for five seconds, we'll go for three and then stop. All right, this is enough for our first lesson. We learned quite a bit. We got to get around this M-Block software. We wrote our first program and we got our robot to do something. Good work and I will see you in the next video.